rip the paper all the way around this guy. And I actually decided to move, see this is one of the benefits of this. I actually decided I want it right here and flipped compared to how I drew it. I actually like the way it looks right here a little bit better. It kind of works that shape that I had going up there. So I'm going to put skits down like this. And the way we're going to do it is with matte medium. And this is the last little bit of matte medium I got. So I really need to get to the art supply store and get some. Uh, so let me show you how we're going to do it. I use a little bit of tape on the end there. And I'm just dribbling some matte medium down. And I'm going to use this spatula here just to kind of move it around a little bit. You can use whatever you want, brush, whatever. But I'm going to be using the spatula to set it. To, so might as well just use it for the whole thing. And it's always good to go with a little more than a little less. So don't be afraid to put this stuff down. There we go. And now all I'm going to do is just mush out all the matte medium. Yeah. Easy peasy. Make it nice and like that. You can do this with gloss medium, matte medium, whatever type of medium you want. It doesn't really matter. But I just use matte medium as pretty much my standard base for everything. And now I can take this uh, tape off of here. And mush it out through there too. Alright. And there. I'm I'm noticing I have a lot of stuff falling on the ground here lately. Like, I'm going to have to do something about my area. But anyway, that is basically how it is. Now, if you end up getting uh, air bubbles or anything like that underneath your piece after it dries, uh, what you can do is you can use an X-Acto blade, cut open the air bubble, and then just do exactly what I'm doing right here. Not a problem. Alright. Let me uh, get a little brush. And let me kind of work the rest of this matte medium in. I just don't really need this much of it. And again, this is just adding more depth and layer to the, to the overall piece. So I ain't too concerned. It'll be just fine. Now matte medium is going to take a little bit longer to dry than the magic mixture. So I want to make sure I kind of get this nice and thinned out. That way it dries quicker. I don't want it really thick. Because the thicker it is, the longer it takes to dry. I just want to get right back on this as soon as possible. And there's going to be like some little bitty wrinkles here and there in it. But what we can do is we can come back with a sander and sand that right out of there. And it'll be nice and smooth. So not a problem with just a little bit of wrinkly stuff. But just make sure you get it all down nice which this one is, we should be just fine. All right, we go over it one last time with the spatula so it's nice and smooth. And I'm gonna wipe off this excess here, a little paper towel.
There we go. Now, just gotta sit back and let it dry, but I'll probably hit it with the uh, blow dryer, let it dry up a little quicker. And um, we'll be right back. All right, so this is uh, nice and dry. I'm putting my hands over it. You know, if you want this to be nice and smooth, uh, there's a few spots where there's just some wrinkling in it, light wrinkling. And what I got here is a little file sander that women use for their nails. And uh, I'm just going to use that to kind of smooth out those little areas. And that's all it needs. You know, you just find a little spot. But for the most part, I actually like having the little bumps and wrinkles and stuff. I think it gives character to the overall piece. So, But if that is something that you end up with, you can do that. And the same for the bubbles. Like I said before, if there's bubbles coming up, you just take an X-Acto blade, cut it, uh, pull it back, put a little bit of matte medium in it, and then put it back down with the, uh, with the spatula. That's all you got to do. But this is perfectly smooth. It's real nice. Uh, you can't even see the edges where I tore it now. Except for right here because that's where the drawing kind of disappears. But then what I might do is just... There's a little edge there. Now it's, there's no edge. Now it's gone. So that's perfect. But yeah, all the edges are pretty much gone. Can't can't see them. So there you go. That's how you take care of that. <clears throat> now I can't. I don't think I can draw on this. Yeah, you can a little bit with the matte medium, but not much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a light, just a thin cover with the magic mixture, so I can come back over it and. Do whatever drawing I want. So let me do that right quick. Basically I'm just doing this over wherever the matte medium ended up. Because it you can't really draw that well over matte medium. It's kind of plasticky and the pencil won't stick too well. So I'm just going to use the magic mixture to deal with that. Nice thin layer. Something that will dry quick in like just a few minutes. You can go back sand and you're good to go. There you go, it's almost dry right now. And the more you kind of push it in like this, the, uh, the less texture you'll get in the paint, plus uh, the quicker it'll dry. This really allows it to just, because it's kind of like turning it into a dry brushing. There you go. Well, um, let me let this dry. I'll hit it with the blow dryer and be back in just a minute or two. All right, so we're back. Uh, just, just gonna do a little sanding now. Just take care of this. And my tape is pretty much done on these pages. <laughs> but I need some new tape.
All right, there's that one. Let's take care of this one. And there we go. Perfect. All right, let me uh, retape these and then uh, we'll get back to it. All right, so everything's nice and sanded. Everything's looking great. Now, what I want to do is sort of move this right here because I want to work on just this figure and I want to kind of look at it at the same time as I'm working on it and what I'm going to do is I want to kind of redraw a little bit of this I'm just seeing some stuff I'm kind of not so keen on so I'm just going to white out a little Which will be just fine. I'm using gesso to do this. That way I can just draw right over it. And overall, this is looking fantastic. I really like it. Good start for this page. You know, at, at the beginning when I was doing a lot of this stuff, I was kind of worried about it. But not anymore. I'm really liking it now. Okay, let me get the blow dryer. Just gonna hear the blue dryer for a second. Yep, should be good. All right. Still a little wet. But it'll be all right. And I just feel like with him being bent like that, a lot of the uh, straight jacket's actually going to come way up over here. So I'm going to redraw the uh, straps. Like that. And then this one will be way up over here. Like that. There we go. And then this will kind of come up like right here. And yeah, there we go. That's going to be a lot better. Alright. Want the, um, my heaven you go okay I'm happy with that now Let me just make sure that's good and dry yep 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 I 
I'm going to draw in the face just a wee bit better. Pick this up. Let me look at it. What I'm gonna do is I'm on oh oh that's what I'm missing missing the hair like I feel like I'm missing something and you are One thing that I do like about switching this drawing up is now this one over here, this arm will have the buckle on it. And this one over here will have the strap. So what I'll do is I'll do one of these numbers where it just kind of goes all over the place. Something like that. go and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work this thing with with the uh, uh, liquid graphite that'll help me put in some nice shadowing You know, I probably should work these boots. I haven't actually done the boots yet. Let me bring it back over here. Let me do these boots right quick.
There we go. Just put in the buckles. I've drawn these uh, boots enough times to, you know, I, I know how they look straight out of my head for the most part. There we go. That'll do just fine. That's the one thing I'm missing. I knew I was missing something. I'm missing all the crazy things coming out here, like the. pants sticking out of the boot and everything. There we go. Alright. Spend a lot of time on this drawing here. A lot more than I was planning on. I think I might leave it like this just so I can do what I'm gonna do here with the liquid graphite. Anyway, let me get the liquid graphite set up and then uh, we'll be right back. Keep looking at this drawing and something's just not, it's just not looking right. I finally figured it out. I'm like, what is wrong with the face on skits? I mean, it's just like NPC, it's like non player character skits or something. <laughs> It's not good. So um, I'm going to wide over it and uh, redo it. I'll redraw the face here. <laughs> yeah, there's something. Oh, well, that's probably a little too much. I mean, don't need that much wet water. Wet. I right, don't need that much white. All right. Anyway, we'll just do that and we'll start over. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Just wide it out and start over. It's that easy. Can I see a little something else there? <laughs> Non-player character skits. Uh, yeah. All right, let me let that dry and we'll come back and draw it in properly. Okay. Let's uh, get in here and try and do something.
it sound like my pencil sharpener just broke? <laughs> sound like it just broke or something. You know, when I drew this, I, I kind of broke one of my own rules when it comes to drawing. Put nothing on straight up and down angles, you know, uh, 90s and zeros. Stay away from the 90s and zeros. And that face was like straight up 90s and zeros with just a little tilt. And it was, ugh, terrible. Just terrible. Why didn't any of y'all tell me how bad? Oh, that's right. You haven't seen this yet. Anyway. We'll... <laughs> Anyway, yeah. But we will fix it right here. This is this is gonna be good. That's exactly what we what we needed. Something like that. There you go. It even makes the hair look better. Nice. Alright, I'm happy with that. Now we got something to look at. And I think the way I'm going to do my, uh, my shading is with the... With the um, liquid graphite. Alright, now that looks excellent, very good, I'm happy with that, are you happy with it? I'm happy with it, if I'm happy with it, you gotta be happy with it, so. there we go, boom, loving it. Let me get the uh, liquid graphite set up and we'll uh, get to it. Alright, we got the liquid graphite set up and we're going to start adding it to our piece here. Now the light's coming from this way. So right up in this corner, like where the red arrow is pointing us right there. So we'll just get in here and get to it.
I really like liquid graphite. It's definitely one of my uh, favorite things to use. Favorite mediums. I don't know what it is about it. It's just, I don't know, it just does it for me, you know. It's just one of those things. It's like you end up having your favorite stuff, you know. And for me, this is one of them. Side for a moment. Let me get a bigger brush. Cause I wanna. Ooh, got a little goober on there. Some dry materials. Must have been from out of that bucket there. Happens. I think maybe why I like it so much is because it tends to dry exactly how it looks when you put it down. And that's kind of rare. Usually things dry lighter, you know, or just something else. So. That's something that I definitely like about it. But I've been using it for a while. And uh, it always gives me what I'm looking for. So, there you go. Uh, you're, if if you work at uh, art long enough, there's definitely things that you learn and rely upon that uh, you understand better, you know, materials and processes and stuff. That's just inevitable. You're always going to find stuff that you like more than others. You know, things that work for you. Now, well, something that I need to do for this. I need to add some flavor to it. There we go. There we go. This stuff splatters really well too. <laughs> there we go. That's nice. I want to do a little bit more with the face and hair area. Still using the liquid graphite. So 
I'm gonna get a little more dark to it. So I want to make the uh, face kind of come out a little bit better here. So we'll just do that. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more here and there. And I'm just going to kind of plop some stuff in and let it dry. It's all about the layers. It's always about the layers for me. This chair, man. <laughs> just as always, just wanting me to roll away. All right, and you gotta finish it off with a little splatter, of course. This brush ain't the best for splatter, the other one is, but I already cleaned that brush, so. Yeah, flat's always a little bit better. That's okay. I want better splatter, so I'm gonna get the flat brush. There we go. There we go, now we're talking. Alright, let's let it dry and we'll come back. So I've moved the uh, the drawing back to the upright position and I'm just going to add in a few things here like the uh, rest of the boot there you go put the boot in there maybe just hit it with a little bit of Kind of goes with the rest of it, right? There we go. Even though you'll never see that because it's going to be right in the uh, crease of the book, but it still needs to be there. Still need to uh, make sure that, that stuff is seen. Uh, okay. I think what I need now is, um, I still need to do a little bit here, but I want to do some stuff here first so I can kind of integrate the, the two bits together. So, what I think I'm going to do is, I'm going to want to draw skits 
kind of looking at some boxes here. I don't know if I want to do paper though. I, I don't know if I want to do the tracing paper away again. I uh, kind of don't. But at the same time, it's, uh, has, man, I can't pick that up. <laughs> I don't know, let's just try and draw it. Let's see what we come up with here. have a box right here There we go. Got a nice box, and Skits is going to be holding that box. There we go. Hmm, excuse me. Yeah, I kind of want them just looking down and kind of being excited like an aha moment. If he's not doing one of these things. All right. Here. 
It's a big ear. I think I put too big of an ear on him. <laughs> a giant ear. That's more like it. Something like that's probably a little bit better. Alright, let's uh put some hair on them here. Still kind of rough here. I probably could have sanded this a little bit better, but eh, whatever. Now, let's uh, try and get everything drawn in here for the uh, straight jacket. And maybe I'll have them hold, hold it with one arm. And then his other arm, he's kind of, hey, yo, this is, this is what I need to do. Yeah, something like that. looks pretty darn good actually and the question is now how do I want to pop them out because it's right now it's just a sketch and we need to really get it uh, kind of jumping off the page here uh, first thing I can do is Maybe draw a little bit of this in with a colored pencil and give it a little edge. Or maybe I should go with the ebony pencil. Make it stand out just a wee bit more. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm going ebony pencil is kind of the way to go on this one, I think. got his hair tucked behind his ear a little bit. And maybe what I need to do to make this really stand out is uh, 
trying to do it with uh, with ink might be the key on this one That's looking pretty good. I'm liking that. And it should be exactly what I'm looking for. So, just take a little break. We'll be right back. If you like what you're seeing here, give us a like, share, subscribe. Also, go on over to the skitscomic.com website. All videos show up there a week before they ever hit YouTube. While you're there, pick you up a comic book print or go ahead and uh, get your original piece of art lastly go over to indiegogo.com and sign up for the book that you're actually watching being made right now thank you and have a great day